first step, safety. So we need your goggles please mate. Nice apron there. Lovely picture. You want to tie me? Yeah sure. Tie you mate. Yeah. Wouldn't be the first time I've tied you up would it? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank Looking you. the part? Yeah. Perfect. Let's do it. Mate, so now we're uh, you're ready to go. We're just writing out the spec. Yeah. So you've got your loft and lie on there, your length, just finishing off your grip, and then you're good to go. You can build off this. Okay. Thank you, Alex. Perfect. We've all written out, we'll grab this, the uh, components. So first of all, you need your shaft, mm -hmm. Dynamic Gold S400 Black. Under my name. Yep. There you go. Perfect. Shaft, mate, you need the head, so you play the high toe free, the egg 10 bounce. Yeah. So we've now got the shaft and the head, so last of all, you need your grip. So you go ahead. Here. Should be easy to find, yeah. yeah. Mid size. That's it. Compound. Yeah. For those big hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nick, so now we've got the stamping. Hardest part of the build, I would say. Mm -hmm. So we've got it on the anvil, magnet. So it's nice and sturdy. You've got your letters in there, your hammer, and most importantly, your safety. So you're going to hold the stamp with that and bang it down. I'd love to see how you get on because my first go was terrible. So <laughs> you might pleasantly surprise me here. Okay, let's give it a go. Well, I've chosen something easy, just me. Yeah. <laughs> I can scroll to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last one. No pressure. Whoops. How's it look? That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, it's good. It's inside. It's really good. Yeah, fill her up with the paint. Oh, like it. Yeah, leave that to dry for a couple of minutes. There you go. Not too hard, you rub it all out. <laughs> there we go. Nice size. Pretty good. Right, so Nick, you've got your name on there. Do you want anything else? You've got stars on there? I just feel like you can only do stars if you're one. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, sorry, mate. We can do a zero. What's that? Zero wins. <laughs> You're a strong guy, mate, so don't go too hard. Mm -hmm. We need to take half a degree of loft off, so you bend, bend away from you, like that, right? Oh, okay. There you go, there you go. And then we measure again. And then we'll measure again, yeah, so you take that off. And then we'll see where you're at for, for loft. I do that. And then the lie, we have to go upright. So if you come round here, and you've got to bend towards me, right? to me. So we've got your shaft now, we're just going to prepare the tip so it sits nicely in the head. So we're going to turn this machine on, don't be afraid, it's a little loud. And then you're going to spin the tip on the belt, okay? There you go. Now we're cooking, big boy. Perfect. Right, so you've got your ferrule. And that's it, give that a tap down on the metal. Perfect. That just sets the ferrule at the same depth every time. Nice. All good. Another step done. We are going to mark the length just so it's ready for cutting. So, you are 35 and 5 eighths cut length. Yeah. We'll just give that a mark. Perfect machinery, right? So be careful. Um, you've got the line that you've lined up, fill the line. There you go. Uh, round off the edges of the shaft. Yeah, perfect. That'll do, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're on to the gripping. So, you're a mid-size with two layers. So, let's see how you get on. All right, mate, so you've got two layers. Perfect. Get that one there on top first. There you go. Treat it with some care. Nice and smooth. And then we got the liquid. Yeah, we need one more layer because oh, yeah. you have two layers. Otherwise, you'll be angry at me that oh, you well. built your club wrong. You awesome. <laughs> Go over that um, first layer. That's fine there. Yeah. Of, yeah, if there's a bit of tape for that, that's not a big issue. There you go, looking good. There you go. Mm -hmm. Just want that into the grip. Block the hole at the end of the grip. There you go. There you go. Okay. That's it, that's it, yeah. Again? Yeah, yeah right. again, yeah. There you go. The more you've got, the easier. There you go. It can be a bit fiddly. Smooth. Yeah. 
You got it? There yeah. we go. There you go, keep going. Keep going. Keep there we go. Down. That's some workout. Okay. Right, and now just make sure it's straight, obviously before it sets. There you go. Right, Nick, so we've got your perfectly gripped golf club. Mm -hmm. We're just going to stick it on the drying rail for five minutes, just for that grip to, to dry off. It won't stick. <laughs> it's wet. <laughs> Perfect, there we go. Hi right, Nick, we're going to do the swing weighting, okay? So if you just chuck it on the swing weight scale above us there, we'll see where that is at the minute. We want it at D6.5, okay? Because we're going to use half a gram of blue. Yeah. So you're at D5 there, right? Yeah. So if you chuck a, a weight in the hosel of the head. So about three? Yeah, three grams sounds good to me. And then pop that back on. We should be at D6.5 there, hopefully. Right, mm -hmm. so we're going to get some glue. Squirt it out here? Yeah. Oh. Is yep. that too much? No, that's perfect, I'd say. Me too. <laughs> and, then... and then you're going to mix it with a bit of shaft beading. This one? Yeah, that's it. Just help centralise the shaft in the head. Just like your salt and pepper. There you go. More? No? Good, no, that's good. Mix it up in the glue so it gets nice and coated in the glue. Is this too much? No, that's good. Just stick it in there. Yeah, have you got your swing weight in there? Yeah. Yeah. And this before, mate, haven't you? No. There you go. And then we'll chuck it back on the swing weight scale. Looking good to me. And the duck. Yeah. Perfect. Find the graphics and the grip up here, mate, so it's nice and flush down the front. Mm -hmm. Just match it up with the bottom groove. Yeah, it looks good to me. Yeah. Perfect. Good. This is probably the toughest part of the job, right? And it's the last part, so if you mess it up, the cubs are ruined. <laughs> so no pressure, right? Okay. So you're gonna just like ferrule pressure. the um, well, ferrule the plastic until it's nice and smooth with the cub head, alright? Yeah. So I sort of spin it there. I spin it clockwise. Just nice and light, yeah. There you go. And you feel the plastic coming off, yeah? That's a technique I've not seen before. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> What's ever comfortable for you, mate? That's it. There you go, we're getting there. Fuck me. <laughs> you see, it's tough, isn't it? We get, we get, what the hell? <laughs> we're, get, we're getting there, mate. Keep going, or? I'm gonna ruin this. I think you're. <laughs> you're there, you're there, you're there. I'm gonna ruin this. That's gotta be the line of the video. So, it's fine. What is this? <laughs> what is this, Alex? Right, right, let me polish it out for you. Okay. I'll polish it out for you. That's, That's really, all right. That's really, really bad. <laughs> so you see how it's nice and smooth, right? Okay, let me try again. But, see? So you, it's tough to get used to, but you've got to like lean into it and just spin it softly, right? That's it. That's the thing. Give it a good uh, dab on the acetone, get that nice and wet, the towel. There you go, that's it. And then just spin it on that barrel. And any imperfections, it will shine it up, alright? You it already? Yeah. That's alright. And then give it like, now you've got all the lumps out, yeah, give it a little polish. There you go. There you go. And as that will dry, that will come up nice and shiny. Okay. Nice. Perfect. Good job, mate. Really impressed with you. Thanks There's your new wedge. Appreciate it. Take it out there. Hopefully, it all stays in one piece. Yeah. And uh, yeah, good luck, mate. Yeah, thanks. Otherwise, I know where to come back, right? Yeah, exactly. Looks <laughs> good. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect, mate. So, what we like to hear. D7. Yeah. Nice one. <laughs>